What is up guys? We've got a geometry question today, one with uh, a certain machine that's got to contain two wheels, one of radius 3, one of radius 5, whose centers are attached to points 14 centimeters apart. The manufacturer of this machine needs to produce a belt that will fit snugly around the two wheels as shown in the diagram below. How long should the belt be? Okay, well, what we've got here guys, this is a classic geometry style question that um, is going to test our knowledge of basically uh, radians and the relationship between an angle and arc length. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, draw tangents from the centers of each circle. So from here and about here to approximately where the belt is going to attach to each of the circles. All right, so let's go about doing that. Okay, now we've got our tangents. What we have to do is we're going to um, draw a rectangle that um, has its other side parallel with this side here of the belt. We'll call it X. Okay, great. So we've got a rectangle here now. So we'll draw some um, 90 degree angles just to make it easier for us. And so we have this rectangle here. Now this side length of the rectangle is 3, so it's going to mean that this side length is 3, and because the radius of this entire circle is 5, it's going to mean the side length of this is going to be 2. So what we're going to do first, guys, is we're going to work out what x is. Now what's good about a problem like this is this x here is going to be the same as an x that we could find down the bottom here. So this x and that x are going to be the same. Now the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a bit of Pythagoras using 14 as our hypotenuse to try and find this side here. So what we have is we're going to have x is going to be equal to the square root of 14 squared subtract 2 squared. Okay, so we're going to put that under a square root sign. And if we plug that into our calculators, we get 13.856. Cool. So we know that this is going to be 13.856, and so is this one here. Great. So now what we have to do is we're going to have to figure out what the um, arc length is of a um, basically what of this circle here, which goes from here all the way around to here, and the arc length of this circle here, what from here all the way around to here. Okay, so what we've got here is we're going to be looking for this arc length here from this point here to this point here, and the arc length from this point here to this point here. So what we're going to need is we're going to need the angle that goes around here and we're also going to need the angle that goes around here. So to calculate this angle here, we're going to first of all find out what this angle here is equal to. Let's call it theta. Okay, so the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use a little bit of trigonometry where we have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So we're going to use cosine. So we're going to have theta, we're going to use arc cos or cosine to the negative 1 of 2 over 14. And that gives us an angle of 1.427. Now, obviously guys, this is going to be in radians. So what we're going to need now is we know that this whole um, construction is um, symmetrical about this like x-axis that we can draw through here. So we'll know that to work out this entire angle, this is going to be also equal to theta. So we can say that 2 theta is equal to, we can just multiply this by 2, and we get 2.855. radians. Cool. So, 
what we're going to need to know now is we need to work out, to be able to work out this arc length, we need this angle here. Let's call it alpha. So what we're going to do to calculate alpha, we're going to subtract 2 theta, so this angle here, away from an entire revolution, which is going to be equal to 2 pi radians. So this is going to be equal to 2 pi, subtract 2 theta. And that is equal to 3.428. Great. So now we've found this. What we can also um, get from these two calculations is we can calculate this angle here because this angle here and this angle here are going to be identical because this line here is parallel to this line here. So we can say that this angle is going to be equal to 2 theta. Great. Okay, so let's calculate the arc lengths now. We'll call this one L1 and we'll call this one L2. So to calculate L1, we know that the arc length formula, L, is equal to the radius times the angle subtended by the arc. So, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go, so L1 is equal to the radius, which is 5, times by the angle that's subtended by the arc, which is equal to 3.428 radians. And that gives us an arc length of 17.14 one five centimeters. So we're obviously going to round this at the end of our calculation guys. We can then find L2 by doing exactly the same, R times theta or the angle subtended. So the radius of L2 is three. We're going to multiply that by theta which is 2.855 And that is going to give us 8.565 centimetres. Great. So now we've calculated L1, we've calculated L2, and we also know X and this side here, X. Great. So what we can also, we can find... Great, so now that we know the two arcs and we also know x, we can then sum them to find the length of the belt that we require. So we're going to say length is going to be equal to 2x or 2 times 13.856. Add L1, which is 17.1415. Add L2, which is 8.565. And that gives us a total length of 53.42 centimetres. Great. So just recapping, guys. First of all, what we did is we drew two tangents to the belt to the center of each circle. And because of the way that these are set out, we know that this tangent here is parallel to this tangent here. After we did that, we were able to construct a rectangle. And from there, we're able to um, solve for the final side and the angle of a triangle. So we're able to solve for this x here. Because this is a rectangle, using the properties of rectangles, we're able to know that because we know this side, we also know that side. Because this whole thing was similar or symmetrical about this axis going through the center here, 
because we knew this, we also knew this. Great, so once we've done that, <coughs> and after knowing the angle that we've got, we could then find the angles subtended by each of our two arcs. Once we've done that, we could use the formula L equals R theta to then calculate the arc length of both of these arcs. Once we did that, it was just a simple final sum of all of the uh, lengths that we'd calculated to give ourselves a final belt length of 53.42 centimetres. So it's, there is a bit to this question. It, knowing that you have to make this rectangle to start with is just a key fact. If you um, do a few of them, it's not too complicated. In the end, you'll just be able to go quickly through this. It won't take you too long at all. So I hope this video helped. If it did, subscribe to my channel. I've got a, quite a few videos on here and I produce new videos almost every day. Um, give the video a like. And I said, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys again next time.